Well this is a little odd. Despite there not being an actual announcement about it, Bungie appears to have launched a new version of Destiny 2, one that makes good on their promise to revisit pricing on older paid content. Supposed layout yesterday on January 18, at least on PC, and maybe Xbox? Can't find it live on PlayStation, the Destiny 2, Legacy Collection is a $60 bundle that includes the following normally, those would be priced at $20, $25 and $30, respectively, so you're saving $15 by buying them all together. Forsaken's campaign, as a reminder, is currently free, but the story missions and the Tangled Shore are being locked in the content vault in a month when Witch Queen launches. Then the Forsaken pack will include the dungeon and raid and exotics from the original DLC at a reduced price. This legacy collection does not include year 4 seasonal content, which is leaving in a month. I suppose the idea here is for Bungie to be able to sell a $60 copy of, something, given that the base game is now free. The Witch Queen is launching for $40, though an $80 deluxe version gets you every season this year, plus two dungeons that as far as we know, are only available through that bundle. At least right now. Is $60 a good deal for all that other content? I mean, probably. You need Beyond Light to get the entire Stasis subclass, which is a pretty core part of the game at this point, and Shadow Keep and the Forsaken Pack have good dungeons and raids that are worth experiencing. I'm not wild about the story campaigns for either Shadow Keep or Beyond Light, so make sure to play the Forsaken campaign before it gets vaulted. There is no guarantee what may get vaulted a year from now, and which part of your $60 purchase could be rendered inert, but that's the risk with Destiny 2 these days. My best guess would be the Shadow Keep campaign which is A, not great and B, not exactly super relevant to the story these days, as it served as an introduction to the darkness years ago, and things have evolved quite a bit since, though I have my doubts Bungie would take away the rebuilt reissued Moon from Destiny 1. As for why this pack hasn't really been talked about or announced yet, I'm not sure. Maybe it went live on some of these storefronts early, and I'm unclear as to why I can't find it on PlayStation.